So my question is what is the role of AI and machine learning in the field of cyber security? There's a lot of places where you can apply AI and machine learning in cybersecurity. AI and machine learning is more around a technique that you apply to go ahead and make decision making more efficient based on patterns that you learn, uh, which are good patterns versus bad patterns. So similarly, uh, a lot of AI is applied to cybersecurity both on the defense side and also on the offense side. Can you give me an example? Sure. So, for example, when you talk about on the defense side, right, uh, we are building our own neural networks. So, we work with some of the largest companies on the planet. We work with Google, Facebook, Netflix, Dropbox, ADP, Chevron, like all big names, Victoria's Secret, KFC. They're all our live customers who we go ahead and we actually provide cybersecurity risk management platforms to, right? And uh, what we do for them is because we have patterns of you know what great cybersecurity uh, best practices look like we actually take that and we are building our own neural network to train that neural network of what great decisions look like and based on that neural network the reverse training the neural network can then predict that now based on your company's existing security investments what is the next best investment that you can make? What is the next best action that you can take uh, versus what was, uh, you know, what was generally done in the past in a more subjective, uh, you know, finger in the air kind of approach, which is basically guessworking. So that's one example of how you can use machine learning for defending yourself. Okay, nice. So my next question is, what is the... Um opportunity in career like agar koi second year third year fourth year ka student agar dekh raha hai aur use bahut acche se nahi samajh aaya aur career mein usko wo chahiye ki kya kar sakte hain to what is agar aap your idea second year third year fourth year mein ho aur agar aap ek career in cyber security aap ke sath start karna chahte ho mere paas aise kafi sare students aate hain and my recommendation to them is when you think about cyber security, it's divided into two parts, cyber and, and security. security, correct? Please start with cyber. What that means is that how can you become the best when it comes to understanding how truly an operating system works, a database works, a network works, a compiler works, okay. how does you know real programming work? right mm -hmm. go very 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 deep into understanding the first principles of not security but cyber by itself right when you understand ki aap jab ek machine language ki baat karte ho kyunki mm -hmm. aap agar koi program likhte ho mm -hmm. use compiler read karta hai mm -hmm. and then it translates that into a machine language mm -hmm. When you understand that there are 32-bit registers and for each register, you're actually giving that and pointing the instruction pointer to the next command, which is being interpreted by the compiler based on the program that you write. Mm -hmm. pe, suddenly you understand, okay, now if that is true for every program, when I load a new movie into VLC player mm -hmm. and uska ek buffer hai using which that whole movie will actually go ahead and load. Mm -hmm. And if I go ahead and make a movie size, which is beyond that buffer, so that will actually let the buffer overflow. Mm -hmm. Or when the buffer overflow, the register where the instruction pointer hai uska, will actually point to an error code. In place of the error code, you can insert your own payload. Okay. And in that way, you can actually send a malicious file to somebody where their VLC player or Windows player a media player crash and as it crash ho jai, you get a complete access to their system I just defined to you technically what is the meaning of a buffer overflow attack now I can explain this so easily because I understood and I explained to you in a very simple way how registers work, how a program works at a memory level, at the CPU level. And the moment I know that, 
to understand how the buffer overflow works becomes so simple. And now that I know that, if I will create a program, I will know ki hum use kis tarike se protect kar sakte hain. Jisse ki wo buffer overflow attack us particular program ke andar na ho. But wo step two hai. Step one was to understand how registers work. Step one was to understand how does the actual science of computers work at a zeros and ones level. And this was just one example. I can give you a lot of such examples. So my high recommendation would be, it doesn't matter. If you have a job or you have a startup, it doesn't matter. What is important is, you take one, two, three, four things or five things deep into computer science. You don't have to wait for your college to teach something to you. You go very deep, crazy deep. You have enough courses online, you know, NPTEL, Coursera, yes, Udemy, kitni sari cheeze hai. Mm. Free of course, YouTube.com, the best source. Yes, so YouTube where you is can the get. pastry resources where Absolutely. you can learn everything. Exactly. Mm. The problem, you don't have resources. Ki nahi hai. Mm. And by the way, aaj se 25 years back, ye nahi tha. if yes. you were here in IIT Delhi and you really wanted to learn something, you had no other way except to ask your professors. While you have great professors, but they have limited time. They're doing their own research. They're doing their own work. Today, you have a cell phone which has YouTube.com. Put your AirPods and put your YouTube and any subject that you want, you can absolutely learn from that. Yes, sir. So doing that in a very deep way, mm. where when you come out of it, you're like, ha, I get how compilers work. I get how, how the operating works. system works. Exactly how things work, mm. right? When you have confidence in that and not for one thing, for 5, 10, 20, 30 things. Ke liye. Suddenly, you start seeing the con- dots which start getting connected. Mm. Then and you become... Then you get an idea of how to do it. Exactly. How can you do it? So that's my big recommendation. A lot of people say, can I start from security? No, security if you start without understanding computer science, mm. it'll be very shallow. It's like driving the car without knowing what's inside the car. You can be a good driver sometimes, but you would never be equal to a mechanical engineer who understands everything which is going inside the car and then drive it. So that for me, especially if you're a second, third, fourth year student, becomes the most important thing that you should start with. Can you dive deep into computer science? Even if you're in chemical, doesn't matter. You have YouTube.com. If you want to have a career in this. So, what advice would you give to aspiring entrepreneurs looking to enter the cyber security industry? Advice would be the same. Start with computer science. But there's a fundamental difference if you want to be an entrepreneur versus you want to be, you know, a person who will be doing a job, right? I would say the important thing is to be good at what you do, right? So, that is where you... That's where knowing what computer science is, going deep into that matters. If you want to be an entrepreneur, there are certain things that you will have to understand and be okay with, right? So what are the things? So let's first understand that, you know, nine out of 10 startups fail. Nine out of 10. And these are funded startups that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about non-funded startups, right? The appetite to take risk... <coughs> has to be higher the appetite to understand that there will be failures acceptance of failures which will have to happen because koi bhi jab kuch cheez start karta hai aap duniya ki sabse achhi achhi companies ki example agar aap loge na aap dekhoge ki wo company us tarike se start nahi hui thi let's take an example ki aapko pata hai instagram it started as a whiskey tasting app do you know that so when instagram was launched it was a whiskey tasting app where people launched the app saying click pictures of your whiskey good whiskey and post it on this app now the app was so good some people started saying yeah whiskey tasting is fine can we also put pictures of other things so the owners were like yeah i mean of course what's the problem we can just expand it so said yes please let's do that so then they launched instagram where you could share any pictures and you could not share any text. Remember before Instagram, there was Facebook where you used to share text 
और पिक्चर वॉज ऑप्शनल इंस्टाग्राम मेड पिक्चर एज मैंडेटरी यू कैन पोस्ट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम इफ यू डोंट हैव पिक्चर यू कैन राइट समथिंग ऑन स्टेटस इथ बट दैट्स वेरी रेयर एवरीबडी पोस्ट पोस्ट पिक्चर ऑन इंस्टाग्राम राइट इट वॉज पिक्चर फर्स्ट सो इंस्टाग्राम स्टार्टेड देयर एज अ विस्की टेस्टिंग एप एंड इट ट्रांसफॉर्म इट सॉ फेलियर इन वॉट दे डिड एंड देन they became reasonably successful or arguably one of the most successful mm. apps in the world right i mean if you take our own example we started as a services company right while we saw some success there we figured it's not scalable so we had to move that and change that so there is a higher appetite for risk now there's different for different people mm. a lot of people have parents who are old mm. people take loans for their education people are coming from different places where they say i would rather choose a stable income mm. which i'm very sure about rather than a lot of times if you start up for the first 5 years you don't get any salary mm. i was on zero salary for the first 5 years of the company right so there's a different risk reward ratio of course i've been lucky we've done well so the reward on the other side is exponentially higher than what i would have got I had a ton of very large companies who wanted to have me. So for first few years you have to do continuous work for your um, uh, company to have a build. Uh f- so you have to do continuous work forever. Forever. Yeah, there is no first few years. So thinking I'll do a p- lot of work for the first 3 years, 5 years and then life becomes good. There is no life becomes good. work is good so as an entrepreneur as a ceo as a cto as a chief product officer whatever you have to get used to 100 hours a week right you have to get used to that it's just very 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 normal i don't know any entrepreneur anywhere in the world which has built a successful company without giving 100 hours a week